In these next examples, we're going to be looking at multiplying a decimal using the distributive property. So what that really means is breaking down a decimal number into its different parts. So the example asks us to use the distributive property to find the product. It says 2 times 7.4 equals what? So we're going to break 7.4 into, you can see the 0.4 over here, 4 tenths, so we need the whole 7 right here. So again, 2 times 7.4 is the same as or equal to 2 times bracket 7 plus 0.4, close bracket. So we can further break that down into being the same as 2 times 7 and the same plus 2 times 0.4. So now we can do those math pieces separately add them together and we'll get our answer. So 2 times this whole number 7 is obviously 14. 2 times 4 tenths, or 0.4, is 8 tenths, or 0.8. So our answer is going to be 14.8. So to review that one more time, our question, 2 times 7.4, we've decided to uh, break apart the 7 and the 0.4 by putting in brackets 7.4 is the same as saying 7 and 0.4. And then because we're timesing 2 to both those numbers, we can say this question is equal to saying, okay, 2 times 7 plus 2 times 0.4. So 2 times 7 is the 14. 2 times the 0.4 is the 0.8. Add them together, 14.8. Just getting us to break it down and look at its smaller pieces. Our next example asks us the same thing. Use the distributive property to find the product. This is actually very similar to using models to help introduce um, multiplication of decimals like we did in the last video, but this time we're looking at it in terms of its pieces. So 5 times 6.2 is the same as saying 5 times 6 plus 0.2. So we could then also say it's the same as 5 times 6 plus 5 times 0.2. Then we're doing the math. 5 times 6 is 30. And plus 5 times 0.2. Hmm. 5 times 0.2 is going to be... Now that's a little tricky to put wrap your brain around. But 5 times 0.2 or 2 tenths is going to be 10 tenths. And when we think of 10 tenths, that's actually one whole. Imagine saying five times two dimes. If you had 10 dimes, you have a whole dollar. I think that's the easiest way to wrap your brain around that. So 30 plus one equals 31 whole. And our last example using the distributive property to find the product. This time we have nine times $2.04. So it's going to get us to break apart the $2.04. 9 times bracket $2 plus the remaining $0.04. So 0 0.04. Imagine what $0.04 cents looks like. So that's the same as saying two, 9 times $2 plus 9 times $0.04. Cents. So if I think about it, okay, 9 times $2 is $18.00. 9 times 4 cents, 9 times 4 is 36, so 36 cents. Add $18 and 36 cents together, $18.36. That's it for this video. Good luck with this section.